Hi everyone, I'm Amelia Jansen and welcome to another video here at our channel, Jansen Fly Fishing. Now in today's video, I get to experience a really enjoyable while slightly challenging moment with a brown trout in a beautiful Spring Creek. So I'd like to just start by setting the stage for this particular fish and, and what was happening. Uh, Dave and I had actually arrived quite late in the day. Um, a low pressure front had moved through the day prior, some heavy rains and the water flows were up and it was cold and honestly there was no bug activity happening, uh, very little anyway, and this fish was not active. So let's talk about position here. Uh, there's a reason I stood where I did and that was simply because I wanted to be downstream and slightly across from the fish and I used that bush as cover. Had I decided to go above that bush, I simply risk um, exposing myself to the fish, especially on that bright sunny day. Now the other thing is that there was no way of going across the stream. It was way too deep. Um, the consideration I have in my mind anytime I look at position is, okay, what's my back cast? And I knew looking across the stream from me, way too many bushes, it wasn't gonna be from there. So that's why I chose where I did. So let's talk about poise now. And you can say, well, what do you mean by that, Amelia? What I mean by that is some fish, you just gotta take the attitude, I'm gonna have a try. I'm gonna go after this fish. And that was one of those because it wasn't really showing me definitively what it wanted. If it was gonna rise, if it was specifically gonna nymph, I had a good gut feeling that it was gonna go for the nymph. And so that's why I definitely had a dropper nymph. But the biggest thing on this fish is I knew I had to get a long enough cast. I knew I had to build in a bit of a reach and just simply get my fly to drift in his zone and specifically to drift into the shallow side of him because there was no way he was gonna come and eat it had my nymphs ended up on the deeper side. So because it was inactive and because of my position, I couldn't lead it deep enough so I needed to place my nymphs on its shallow side. This scene is from our new feature video called Spring Creek Immersion. And to view that video, please click on the link in the description below. We've also got a few fly fishing trout stream courses there to help you. Yep, so yep. you've just seen one, hmm? Off my right, yep. Yeah, if you're right. So, you see that green patch there? The biggest green patch. Biggest green patch, you're pointing at it. Yep. Yeah. Go just upstream. Uh huh. He's right there, he's just nymphed. Oh, is he right in that little pocket? He's right in that right little there. slot. Right there, you can just see his tail. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Cool. So he's just okay. this side of that leaf. I yeah, I see that. Yeah. Okay. Not an easy fish. Not an easy fish, and do I go at him from above that willow or from behind? I would always say behind, but yeah. I'm crossing currents big time. Maybe from just sneak in here and cast up at an angle? It's a little Yeah, it's a, it's a try. Well, all you can do is try. Up. Didn't know I wasn't rolling on the GoPro, 
It's okay. I got this fish. Come on. But I got it in such a deep section, my only chance is to get that head up. Can you get that head up? No. 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 Come on. Head up. Head up. Head up. Yeah. In the net. Yes. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yes. Sweet. Wow. I'm proud of that moment. And there's a no. lot of reasons I'm proud of that <laughs> moment. Of that moment. That was awesome. Good hey, on you. Thanks, I'm Dave. So happy. Yeah, yeah, that was. Uh, the fight, anyway, you talk it through. That okay. Awesome. So, guys, I'm already standing above my knees. I am not even four inches off the bank here, as you can see, and it drops right off. And that water out there would be well above my head deep. Um, <laughs> and this everything constricts with the with the spring creek here and goes down this channel and that fish as you'll see of course was holding up on the step in the only little bit of exposed kind of gravel between the weed, weed beds and i was just proud because i just kept plugging the fish with the dave's dry dropper and he has a ridiculously long leader most of which I don't I don't use sort of 18 feet. I think he talked about using 18 feet. It's really long But I got the cast and believe it or not. I actually kept overcasting it and I thought no, you got you, you can't overcast it finally I saw where that nymph plopped in and The drift came through and I thought I even called it. I said, yeah Unfortunately, the GoPro wasn't rolling, but I said yeah, that's gonna be the one and as it came in he picked up on that nymph came definitively that body just came from this position right over and it paused and because he was facing fully away from me I couldn't see a white of the mouth but I said he's got to have it and I set the hook and he was on and again you've talked about us there's a couple different ways of knowing that a, fit, a trout has eaten your nymph and one is the white of the mouth obviously the other is just that definitive pause and that's that's what I set on and yeah, I, I mean, I'm just, I'm shocked that I got this fish in because look at this crazy high bank that I'm standing on. I had to kind of slink in and because I thought it dropped right off to be too deep even to stand in, I thought, well, there's got to be a stalk to this whole willow. So I put my feet on and sure enough, yeah, man, I could rest my feet on that and continue to fight the fish um, with some kind of control. Because if you don't have control, a fish is gone, right? And there's a ton of weeds over here that he could have gone into, but I just kept keeping tension and keeping the rod out and guiding him up here and playing him until I knew I could get that head up to the surface. So that's the whole process with that one. Uh, really, really happy I went for it and pleased with the result.